It's gonna be too easy. Good morning, boys. Beautiful morning here in Mongolia, isn't it, Victor? Fucking lovely. <laughs> she got crazy yesterday, but fucking hell, this morning is great. Look at this place. Gonna finish up making breakfast, pack up the camp, and then we'll see what today has to offer. I'm really looking forward to it. See you on the road. What? Now? Yeah. Oh shit, drag rice. Fuck, I lost the keys. <laughs> Here we go. And everyone, cars are still alive. That is a fucking miracle in itself. Ah, oh, we got a fucking puncture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just fucking gone for it. <laughs> I think we're the only casualty, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gone now. Oh, yeah. Fucking, we kept two years a little bit. Don't know if these were just going slow, but. Oh, we're posting. Oh, bro. Fucking stands right into it. What is it? Oh, but... Probably check out. Oh, something's gonna stir it. That's what we get for one That drag race was epic, but the rest of the day is gonna be all about this. Peanut butter and this wine, little, bro. This little guy over here. This little guy. Hey, this little guy. Little Turning 27 today. What's the date? 31st of August. 31st of August. Hey little guy. Hey birthday. <laughs> have a big thing of peanut butter. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Thanks, Bob. Okay, so the... 
<laughs> uh, the plan is to get uh, past Altai and from Altai we're gonna stock up and then we're gonna get off the main road and camp in the desert, the Gobi Desert. After driving for a while, we realized we weren't gonna make it as far as planned. But it didn't matter much because the environment we were constantly surrounded by was so damn enjoyable. They threw an egg at us, and yeah, shit's going on. So, like, we're gonna get back at him now. So we're gonna we have this can of tuna. Can of oh, tuna. That is disgusting. In their air intake, so it's gonna smell like tuna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a food. Yeah. 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 Ye
As usual, we had no real plan on where to go, so we cruised on until it was time to sleep. Yeah, this is what every bloke dreams of in the morning. A sweet whack in a tyre. Jeez, you're getting me going, Tony. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah, get it. Oh, that was good. Oh, he's turned it over. He's turned it over. Yeah, 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 smash it, yeah, that's good, yeah, oh yeah. Another day of driving in Mongolia. It's so much fun to drive here. You just pick, pick something that looks like a road and then you just drive on it. But now we ended up here. We were uh, supposed to get back up on the main road, but apparently we drove further south into the desert and these guys are trying to, these guys just showed us where we actually were. Swamp. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not going through that. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to decide if we're going to drive through this little lake or whatever, or drive around it. Just seeing that tractor crossing, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. It's very deep. They almost sunk the tractor, like the water level went up to there. So driving our small little cars might not be the best idea <sighs> yeah we're gonna definitely gonna try and go around this <sighs> it was just way too deep all right let's see where we end up next Still trying to find our way back to the main road. Uh, we're a little bit lost right roads, now. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> this is like the definition of being in the middle of nowhere. We made it back. We found the main road. What's it called? Ah, uh, yeah. Or it's known by. It's known. It's in, this road is known to be the death road. Uh, so, in the Mongol Rally, all the all the cars that die on the Mongol Rally, 80% of them die on this road. We searched for it for quite a while. Quick little lunch break here, right next to this stream. It's a very lush area, this. And then we're going to continue on the death road. Yeah, yeah, it's about... It's embarrassing. Okay, so um, what you see behind me, that is the main highway towards Bayan Bangkongor. 
Uh, yeah. It's just roads everywhere. So just choose the road you want. Yeah, the others are, are ahead of us. Uh, we had to stop real quick because this is our 12th. 12 flat of the trip. Look at that tire. <laughs> now that is that is that is what I call a screwed up tire. Uh I'm the one driving right now. I think I think I felt that we had a flat like a while back. But I don't know, I just didn't want to stop because yeah. Then it would be a flat. <laughs> Just stopping the car, walking out and seeing that it actually is a flat means you gotta change it and I didn't want to change it, but I think it was inevitable at this point. Alright, so just gonna get this uh, changed and then we can keep on going. Up there! <laughs> <laughs> I must have been driving with that for I don't know. I must have been driving with a flat tire for so long. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the dents. <laughs> also, I found this hat on the side of the road. Thanks for the compressor. <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to make this trip without you guys. Right. Well, thank the lady in work who bought that for me. <laughs> tell her, tell her thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we've got to turn it right. Okay. <laughs> ah, dokie. You just, just waved goodbye to Tim and Steve, boys. Hi, yeah. Goodbye. See you in. Ulaanbaatar. Ulaanbaatar. Twenty four hours. <laughs> awesome. uh, we'll probably end up seeing them in 24 hours, but still, uh, they're gonna head to uh, the ancient capital of uh, Mongolia. It's called Kara Karakorog, I think. Um, we were all thinking about going there, uh, but we're really running out of time now. We have to be in Ulanud by the fifth. Well, at least in Russia by the fifth. Uh, and today is the third, and we want to have at least one full day in Ulaanbaatar, uh, the capital, Cyprus, huh? yep. the actual capital of Mongolia. So we're somewhere in between Bayan Korog and Ulaanbaatar right now on some decent tarmac roads for once. Uh, so we're like 400 k's away from Ulaanbaatar right now, and we're gonna. Uh, we're just gonna try and get there tonight so we can have a full day there tomorrow. Oh, and also the, uh, the tarmac roads just changed to this again. Classic. Classic Mongolia. You just, you, you never know what kind of roads you're gonna end up on. Alright, see you in Ulamatar. Slow. <laughs> it's slow. All, all yeah. this side? This is pretty, <laughs> pretty cocked day. Fuck me, it's yeah. boy <laughs> racer low. Look at you losers with your high car. <laughs> oh, so that's goes. a good noise, isn't it? Fuck, this is heavy. So five minutes after we waved goodbye to Steve and Tim, these guys decided to turn their Toyota Corolla into a go kart. <laughs> or a snow plow. Sometimes uh, it just plows along the road, uh, <laughs> ripping up tarmac and grass and dirt. Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's completely disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> the whole boot's off, eh? Might be a tow truck material, though. Just one thing in it. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's gone all the way through. They're going to strut off so the truck man can come and fix it. Yeah. That looks even more. Holy work. shit. That shock's fucking cooked as well. Okay, so Alex and uh, they just came back with a new shock, brand new shock, brand new spring. Getting it, getting it fitted right now. I think we've been in here for up to four hours now. Though sun's about to set. We still got <coughs> another 400 kilometers to uh, to Lamatar. Might end up driving through the night. We'll see. All right, good luck, right. guys. And hang this on a tree. Oh, there's no trees. Tree. Hang this on an eagle. On a. <laughs> and then we're two. <laughs> so we're gonna have to leave. Well, we not have to, but we're gonna leave uh, Floppy because they have to go back to town and get their um, right suspension fixed as well because the springs, both of their front springs were cracked so, but they only have parts for one, for the left one so they got new shocks and new spring on the left one and they need to go back to town with that Mongolian dude and they're gonna have the uh, right spring fixed as well so they'll catch up in Ulamatar or whatever, wherever we camp in and we haven't really made that far and the sun is just about to set Got like 45 minutes of daylight. Look at that sky though. That's awesome. Yeah, drive slow. Thank you for two. Alright, so just drive as far as we. Yeah, could. just go yeah. till we feel fucked. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. See you on the road. See you on the road again. <laughs> on the road again. On the road again. Na, 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 na. On the road again. Yet another flat. Thirteen. Still going strong. Alright, okay. This is one big puddle. The result of driving in the night in Mongolia. Yeah. So now, now we're out of uh, we're out of spare wheels uh, since we dented our. Um, back wheel so badly yesterday because there was a huge dent in this one uh, we, we don't have any extras now so if we want to make it to Lombatar without having to drive on our wheels we're gonna have to take it super super easy now we're also all getting very tired Good morning. We didn't quite make it to um, to Ulaanbaatar last night. After we got a after we got a flat tire, we kept at it for a little a little while longer. Then we just decided to turn off the main road, main roads over there, and just sleep in the car on this field. We're just too tired to get the tent up. Got a pretty good wake-up call from the from the from the guys this morning. <laughs> what are they doing, Ben? <laughs> Waking the Swedes up. <laughs> this is a morning wake-up call. Handbrake off. Yeah. Go, Ben. Go. <laughs> it's still the 
capital of Mongolia uh, we're just getting ready to leave yeah the car just started there we go uh, yeah we had a big night out uh, last night So at this point, this video is not uh, only about us. Uh, we had like a good convoy going for like the last four or five weeks. So the story is gonna be about everyone. And maybe, I don't know if you remember seeing Adam in our car, just after the, st <laughs> <laughs> just after the start, uh, the launch party. Also, we got Adam with us from team. Ulan Bastard. Yeah. Blow up in Germany. Uh, so there is a reason why he's in our car. Can so you a few days ago, where were we? We were somewhere, we were somewhere in the Gobi Desert. Yeah. Um, and Adam Brady and Hamish from the Ulan Bastards had to leave the convoy because Brady had some visa issues. When we entered into Mongolia, uh, the Russians they realized that. Uh, Brady only had a single entry visa, so he couldn't get into Russia for the second time. And then, from that point, he's been totally stressed out, so that's the reason why they had to leave the convoy, because they didn't need to get to Ulan Bator as quickly as possible. And that's when all hell broke loose yes. for these guys. <laughs> Alright, give us, give us the quick, quick rundown of what happened. Well, we uh, snapped our rear crossbar. Uh, speeding through the desert on bad roads and then because we we're in the middle of nowhere we had to drive 300 kilometers on it and it warped the entire car so now the wheels are hanging diagonally the axles <laughs> bent uh, the the rear boot has the door has come off and it's like hanging on a hinge we lost our bumper so yeah our car is being towed to Ulan Ud so I am back with you guys for the finish. So I started and finished in your car. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That's your car. It's fucking perfect order. This is actually, you know how the king gets carried on a throne? Yeah. This is actually what's happening. Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Today is the day we leave Mongolia, enter into Russia for the second time, go to Ulan Ud and go to the finish line. It's a very exciting day for all of us. Okay, we 
just crossed back into Russia. Believe it or not, we were about to make it. Over 21,000 kilometers driven from Stockholm, Sweden to Ulanud in Russia. And we made it in this crappy yet absolutely amazing car. It's gonna be too easy. <laughs> <laughs>